Today's video is sponsored by 8DO. For the next week, they're running a spring sale with all of their instruments for $100 or less. More on that in a bit. Last week, I did a video reacting to the Tears of the Kingdom soundtrack, and a lot of you were curious about my process writing the battle music that I did. So this is a bonus video. I wanna do some kind of a, a really quick groove in the beginning, because I'm hearing some music from this game that has that kind of ticka 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 ticka. I think I'm gonna have to program this manually, actually. Something like that. So just basically trying to syncopate the whole thing so it's like really, really aggressive and chaotic. Yeah, that's the idea. I guess we do kind of need some sort of a synth that's doing some pulsy stuff. Oh, this could be perfect. Oh my God, this is perfect. Dude, that's literally perfect. This is what's different than Breath of the Wild, is we have this like brass stuff that's wah, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> And then some some upper strings. Oh, I got an idea. Mm-hmm. And then We need blam bum, so a uh, wind rip. And then I think um, trumpet. Then we can introduce some piano doing. That's really cool. That's gotta be some sort of a synth to, to accompany that. That's kind of perfect. Dude. Dude, this is coming out sick. Now, if you like what you're hearing and you want to add some VSTs to your toolkit, I definitely recommend you check out 8DO's spring sale. They have all of their instruments for $100 or less. It's really great. I use their Cage series, which is like aleatoric music all the time in my music. I have the strings, winds, and brass. This is one of my favorite patches. It's the Cluster Pizzicato patch. And I've heard it in a ton of different films. I also use and abuse this patch. It's called the Minor Trill Gliss. It's horrifying, but they also have a lot of tonal instruments as well. So I definitely recommend you check it out. If you're a new customer and you join their newsletter, you'll get an extra 15% off off of the hundred dollars. Thanks again, ATO, really appreciate it. Back to video. Uh, so can maybe we maybe get some of that reverse choir stuff? Like, ha ha ha. Gonna need some basically short choir, I think, that we can then reverse. Um, now we have to reverse the MIDI. Okay, include the audio tail. Oh, oh that, there you go. They had that sick run that I heard before in the strings. I think my trumpets are also kind of underutilized. And this little like string thing here would be great if it was with some winds. Let's add it to maybe oboe and clarinet. Bum, bum, bum. That's cool. I see. So it's like a, fitting a four into it.
Maybe that? A bit more kind of dun, 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 dun. and I think we can do the same with a flute an octave lower okay this is gonna be crazy but <laughs> that's sick We got a good intro, but maybe we scrap this. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's cut that even though I think we might keep it. Love that oboe thing. Yeah, get rid of this. And then uh, harmony, something like that. Keep the groove going there. Yeah, yeah, I see. We definitely need harmony underneath. Right. This is why I always encourage the students to like, try and do stuff like this, imitate it, because you learn so much. I think I mostly got that there. Okay, and then I just want an end there, I think. Oh, no, Angry Bass will do. Wham! Cool. Um, and then lastly... Yep, and I think a big hit. Yeah. Whew. That is tough music to write. It's so active, but it also needs to like have room within it. All right. So here is the finished result of that. So that's the making of, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can leave a like, subscribe for more. And if you wanna see my reaction to the original Tears of the Kingdom soundtrack, I've linked that in the description as well. Have a great day.